Hi. With all the quakes going on lately, um, I would thought I'd just show you on Starry Night Astronomy Program. Let's just run this forward from January of 2011 and show you what's happening to all the planets. They're all on one side of the sky out of nine planets in the solar system and if you consider Pluto a planet um, eight of them are all lined up on one side of the sky in a very tight grouping except for Saturn but most of the mass of the solar system is one in one area and we know that the moon itself can exert a lot of tidal forces on the earth so what happens when all the planets get lined up. Here's March 11, 2011, the day of the big earthquake in Japan. And we have the Moon, Jupiter, Mercury, Uranus, the Sun, Mars, Neptune, and Venus all grouped in a pretty tight group. Not too far away we have Pluto <coughs> and Saturn. It's a pretty tight grouping and of the mass of the solar system all on one side of the sky. And it seems to stay this way for some time. We'll just focus on the sun. And you can see it kind of remains this way. It's pretty tight in April. stays fairly tight in May. Let's just jump forward a little bit here. And we'll go up to December of 2012. There we go. <coughs> There's December 21st, 2012. It's still a little bit tight, but nothing really unusual. For all the Planet X hunters out there, I really don't think that it takes um, Planet X to cause those kind of tidal forces on the Earth when you got this happening right now. And I think God knows what he's doing and I think we're in for a lot of changes that's for sure. So God bless and thank you very much.